Hi, I'm Michael Duarte with NBCLA here with Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Ross Stripling. So uh, let's get to know him a little bit. I know you played in high school, uh, football and also basketball. So other than baseball, what's your favorite sport and who are some of your favorite athletes? That's a good question. You know, uh, being from Dallas, uh, the Mavericks were good growing up. Uh, Dirk Nowinski has always been a favorite. Um, you know, the Cowboys were good. That was like the Troy Aikman, Emmitt Smith, Michael Irwin days. Uh, those were fun to watch. Um, I would say right now, I mean, I love watching LeBron James play. My dad played some tennis, uh, and actually he, he used to, like, wake me up and we'd watch, like, the French Open final, um, Australian Open final. So, I, you know, grew up watching Federer, who's still doing it, and I've always enjoyed watching him. So uh, that's a good question. I would say if I could pick anything to play, it would probably be basketball, but to watch and, like, cheer for his football. All right, so I want to know what moment in your career is, like, a defining moment for you? Like, do you remember, like, an exact moment or day where you're like, everything changed after this point? Oh, man, that's a good question, too. You know, I was a reliever my first year in college, and that, that year is such a blur, I, I, I can't really pinpoint. And then I would say my sophomore year, I had a good fall, and they threw me into the rotation, and I started um, – that first you know series of that first year and I can't even remember who it was but that that was kind of a turning point where it's like you know I can get guys out at that level which at the time was college you know and obviously I've moved up since then and then probably the biggest one you can point to is Tommy John I mean that was such a, a traumatic event and and uh, it was my first big league camp first outing in big league camp and tore it so like really cut me down in a moment that I was you know at the highest for me personally and and to uh spend 14 months basically away from the team rehab and trying to get things together and and then to uh come back and basically totally reboot everything mechanics were different when i came back arm slot was probably even a little bit different like everything just gets rebooted and redone and um you know obviously that's a a, a moment that you can look at and really think things change but um you know kind of getting over that process and, and getting back to being able to get hitters out at a professional level and then making the debut and getting guys out in the major league level and and you know that's a couple things you can point to where you kind of start saying like maybe i belong here maybe i can get guys out here maybe you know i can really help this team win so those those are kind of moments that all kind of lead up to the process of like being here now and getting major league hitters out and really helping the dodgers you know win and and, and progress as a team and and really feeling like you belong because that that process takes a while yeah. You mentioned college as a, also a turning point when you kind of got the confidence that you could to get at, hitters out at that level. I want to talk about your bromance with, with your buddy Michael Waka. Yeah, yeah. You got your first win against him at Dodger Stadium last year. He was opposite. It was like Kismet or something. But tell us about your relationship with him. Uh, you know, I, I know you guys are close, so have you guys yeah. ever fought? You guys are roommate. Like, tell us some stories. Right. You know, off the top of my head, I don't know if I can give you many stories. Um, you know, something about us was was or, or is funny is you know he came in he was younger than me so I was a sophomore and I was I think like Saturday in the rotation that year and he was kind of like the Tuesday guy and pitched a little bit on the weekend so I'd like to say like I kind of took him under my wing and told him like you're gonna be really good well he just shot by me you know and was better than me by the end of that year and then started on Friday the next two years and I you know basically backed him up so that was kind of funny you know just to see him progress I mean he was a tall skinny guy throwing 85 miles an hour and progressed into uh you know what he is now an all-star so uh and then other stories man you know we might have to visit that again that's college so uh you know maybe not nbc appropriate right okay. yeah but uh we'll get there any fights between you guys like our arguments or disagreements or was it all just smooth sail man it was definitely not smooth sailing you know college is before the big leagues really the last time where you really play to win you know like if Waka went out on Thursday night and wanted to pitch on Friday like that made me mad and you know I'm not saying that's what he did but you know that that kind of stuff happens in college in the minor leagues you know that winning's not a big deal it's about progressing and getting better and then the big leagues obviously it's about winning so uh, you know I remember a couple of times being frustrated with him maybe where he didn't seem ready to pitch but he still went out and had success like you know he was just too good for that level but um, the only other one I remember is we, we had like a basketball goal and we would shoot and uh, one time it just got super heated for whatever reason we're just competitive you know and we, we were like shooting and we had to like part ways because we were so mad at each other that we ended up coming back and be like I don't know what happened sorry about that you know we just got competitive other than that he's about as laid back and humble as it comes so not uh, nothing too crazy other than the proposal, which I think was here in Arizona, right? Yes. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done for your fiance? <laughs> oh gosh, putting me on the spot. Oh man, oh, I, I'm a, I mean, toot my own horn. I'm a good gift giver. Uh, probably at our one year anniversary, I did this crazy thing, and it probably can't even really describe it right. It's a massive picture of Texas, and. Uh, 
inside of it I, I cut out pictures so like it fits perfectly in the shape there's maybe 20 pictures that fit in the shape and then in Houston there's like a heart with a picture of her and it says like uh, distance means so little when the person means so much and uh, it's just like a little memento that because that was the first time that I had left her for a season you know so we were about to do distance for the first time and uh, that was gonna be tough but uh, that was probably the best gift I've given other than that you know we do nice dinners and things like that but uh, you know, we'll keep, we'll like keep that, those, you yeah, know? we'll keep the romantic secrets for us. Oh, that's good. I like that. Now, I also know, and if fans don't know this, you're a licensed stockbroker, yeah. and you probably have a future in the financial industry at some point. So, with the market at an all-time high, give us three of your top stock picks right now. I actually don't know if I'm allowed to, since I'm licensed. Uh, I don't know. I truly don't know if I'm allowed to. Um, you know, what I can say is like... No, uh, no free advice out yeah, there, no guys. Sorry, advice, sorry. No don't advice. go betting your life fortune on whatever right, he right, says. Right. But something you like, I guess, or something that they talk about. Uh, sand companies are big right now. Uh, Trump said that you can, we're going to keep fracking. And with fracking comes sand, if, if you know how that situation works. Uh, other ones are uh, financial companies, banks. You know, it looks like Trump's going to, you know, have some... Uh, some policies that really benefit the financials. So, uh, you know, some of those stocks might be good ones to have. That's good. All right, guys, that was Russ Ripley, and we'll look for him in the, the playoffs this season coming up. Thanks.